over such by simply thinking that I can do anything through Christ who strengthen me. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much candidate number one. All of our ladies will really feel nervous but I know that they will rock and roll in this question and answer portion. Alright, right now pick your question. And you picked What qualities should a trans woman possess to make a notable difference in the world? Again, what qualities should a trans woman possess to make a notable difference in the world? The qualities should a trans woman that possess to a notable to the world is that we are hardworking and we are willing to do anything just to earn for our families and for our loved ones. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like also to consider this one thing which I believe is also considered and considered as our contribution and that is to be a role model. We all know that we trans women are very hardworking once again and are willing to do anything just to earn for our families and for our loved ones. So ladies and gentlemen, let us not forget that we trans women are the most versatile type of people in this world. Thank you. Number two, how does it feel to be the crowd's favorite? I did not expect, I'm just doing my best and I did not expect that I catch the eye of the crowds. Thank you. Alright, you will be picking a question from the ever gorgeous Miss Erika Venus. You picked question number six. How will you use your Miss Gay Iligan experience to benefit others if you will not win tonight? I repeat, how will you use your Miss Gay Iligan experience to benefit others if you will not win tonight? Thank you for that wonderful question. Well, I believe that to be a candidate of Miss Gay Iligan is once in a lifetime experiences. To tell you, this is my second time around that I joined Miss Gay Iligan. I joined last 2017, but I failed to get the crown. But here I am now, standing in front of you, trying my all best to get the crown again. And I want to use that experience to showcase to the people to not give up. Always try your best. Keep trying and trying. I know one day you are going to get the success. What may be the result now? I may be win or I may lose the crown, but I will use that failure as an exceptional chance. I know one day I will be the queen, and tonight I will be the win. Thank you and good evening. Wow, indeed, all of you ladies are winners with question number five. Has the speed of technological advances taken away our emotional connection? Has the speed of technological advances taken away our emotional connection? Thank you. To go directly, my mother is an OFW and she is in the States for almost 18 years. And I believe that she is not with me but the because of social media, we are given a chance to talk every day, to, to cherish our time even though she is not around with me. And I believe that technology is, is nothing, but it is really good for us human beings because it's connect, it connects us people. And I believe that it's really helpful for me. Me and having a mom who is OFW, and I believe. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number. But you have a purpose. 
yes, I love that. All right, candidate number four, you can now pick your question. All right, you pick question number ten. What, according to you, is the biggest obstacle that prevents development? What, according to you, is the biggest obstacle that prevents development? Thank you for that very wonderful question. Actually, if you propose it in a most deeper meaning, what prevents us from the development itself? is the negativity of each of the people who are facing him tonight. Let this be my presence as a reminder that whatever negativity that you have, you will still prosper into a better version of yourself, into a healthier and more livelier and a must bright future. And that what makes us for a better development that would never show into your front. That will be the last of you. Thank you and good evening. tonight candidate number five all right you can now pick your question from Queen Angel you picked question number nine what's a striking quality that sets trans women apart from women again what's a striking quality that sets trans women apart from women all right, I would like to remind everyone that the question is opinionated and it is subjective and we can never objectify because we see things differently and we live our life in a different perspective. So what is the difference or the determining factor that, that is deter detrimental for a woman, biological woman and a transgender woman? It is the persistent idea and the innovative mindset. You know why? Undergoing hormone replacement therapy is not the same as standing up or walking or just you just walk up and you say, I'm a transgender woman. It is a psychology, a science, and a social aspect. And we need to understand that transgender women are facing a lot of obstacles and struggles in life in surpassing discrimination and prejudice in the society. Society. But we are still here fighting and doing our best to be, to have an impact in the community and a significant contribution for the progress of the nation. Thank you so much and good evening. Thank you so much. Number six, would you like to say hi to your supporters? Good evening everyone. I would like to say hi to my supporters. Most especially to my mom and sister who are here watching right now, coming all the way from Imita Misamis Oriental. And of course, to my supporters coming from my beloved Parangay, Parangay Dalipuga. Thank you for coming here and watching me. Alright, I can see that your supporters are right there. Alright, thank you so much for supporting candidate number six. Alright, you can now pick your question. You pick question number seven. What, according to you, are the disadvantages of embracing inclusivity? Again, what, according to you, are the disadvantages of embracing inclusivity? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that these, that these advantages of embracing um, inclusivity is that we are going beyond. We are not we are not contented with the acceptance that we have here in the society. Most of the members of the LGBTQ community are not 
satisfied. They are willing to. They are. They are expecting more. They are going to find another ways for the for them to be able to express themselves. I believe that this is one of the disadvantages that we have because because it is not good to go beyond and to to what to find more ways to be accepted in the society and that would be all thank you so much thank you so much candidate number six and i would wow i can see that you have a lot of supporters right there would you like to say hi to them hello everyone it's good to see that there's a lot of people out here that they really go back to normal and i would like to hi everyone for their support and thank you so much and i hope you have your best time here especially enjoying miss galigan 2022 all right, candidate number seven, you can now pick your question. You picked question number three. Are the youth of this generation more pressured to perform than the youth of the previous generations? Again, are the youth of this generation more pressured to perform than the youth of the previous generations? Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to express what I have actually felt and experienced. As an independent transgender woman who worked hard alone to financially sustain myself, I felt that there is a pressure, especially in my relatives. Why? It's because they always see that transgender are supposed to be the finding one person to resilient and finding ways to solution. And me, as a member of the LGBT, have felt that kind of discrimination. And one thing that I do, especially here, that as a contestant and candidate of Miss Illegal 2022, is to show to everyone that no matter what people do, no matter how young you are, they say young because young have no idea. No, it's not. It's the stereotype that we have to kill and eradicate and the mindset that we have to change. Because people resist change, but we can do to talk each everyone and do empathetic understanding. And I Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, candidate number seven. Right now, I am immensely grateful to be given a chance to be here in Miss Gay Elegant 2022 stage. And I would like to uh, thank my relatives and cousins from Barangay Villa Verde who is here tonight. And most especially to my mother and sister who have been supporting me in my pageant journey. Thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. You can now pick your question. You picked question number eight. What, according to you, is the biggest contribution of LGBTQIA plus community to the world? What, according to you, is the biggest contribution of the LGBTQIA plus community to the world? Maayong gabi sa inyong tanan. I will go directly to the point. The biggest contribution of the LGBTQIA community to the world are in fashion industry, arts, and tourism industry. Behind Miss Iligan, behind the Andy Queen, and behind the Andy King, and behind the Andy Festival dances, and behind Miss Gay Iligan are members of the LGBTQIA community. Ladies and gentlemen, in this year's Diandi Festival celebration, it's not just a celebration of cultures and tradition, but it is a celebration of aggregate talent from our members of the LGBTQ community tonight. And that is the greatest contribution of the members of the LGBTQ community because in reality, these industries are greatly influenced and dominated by members of the LGBTQ community. And here tonight, we are celebrating diversity and inclusion in Miss Gay Elegant 2022. The gowns that we wear, the makeup that we have, 
the beautiful decoration are our contribution in this world because without the LGBTQ community, the world would be very pale. And because of our talent and gifts, we are the brightest color in the universe. That would be all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Candidate number eight, indeed, the members of our LGBTQIA plus community have the most brilliant and creative minds. All right, good evening, candidate number nine. Are you feeling? I'm so nervous, but I am very happy that my family is here and my friends support me. Well, can I say hi or can I hear the screams of the supporters of candidate number nine? There. Okay, you're gonna pick your question. You pick question number one. How different would the world be if members of the LGBTQIA plus community were to rule the world? Again, how different would the world be if members of the LGBTQIA plus community were to rule the world? Thank you for that question. I believe there is an... I believe ladies and gentlemen that there will never be a difference because I believe that we LGBT, we are here to inspire other people and share compassion to our, to our young generation, especially to the member of LGBT. The purpose we are here is to, to show how talented and colorful the LGBT and I believe that we should always be kind to others. Thank you. Especially to my family who is here to support me and to give a wonderful and grateful vibes that I have right now. So that's why I'm standing here confident. Whatever will be, I will accept. That's all. All right, you're gonna pick your question. You pick question number eleven. Are trans women women? Why or why not? Again, are trans women women? Why or why not? Thank you for that wonderful question, ladies and gentlemen. Are you trans women or women? Why or why not? Differently, I could be able to answer that question that trans women are classified as a woman. Why? Because we have the holistic heart which can adapt as a woman. We could care, we could inspire, and we could be a good role model of any diverse individual. And that is the essence of being a woman. Know how to break barriers, know how to inspire other people, and especially to promote their own purpose. And I believe that a woman is also a trans woman. And I am standing here in front of any diverse individual because I am Rabea Badal, a proud trans woman, and I am a woman. So that's why I am so lucky and grateful because of this edition of Miss Gay Ligan which is empowering sensitivity and blurring borders and we could change our mindset about the standard of a transgender is not a woman we should need to remind everyone that transgender are also a woman thank you thank you so much candidate number 10 and candidate number 11 how does it feel that you are the last candidate
right now. I am so thankful to my mother, to my father, to my sisters and brother, to my family, to my for the full support for going here, and to my friends, to my makeup artist, no other than JP Gidotti. It is the very top makeup artist in Iligan City, and no one can be on top. Only JP can be on top. And aside from that, I would like to say thank you to the organizer, most especially to Cup Jimmy Sally. Thank you so much, Cup, for doing for doing this kind of event because this event would not be possible. Your smile on your faces would not be possible without this Miss Gay Illegal 2022. Alright, that's not yet the question, huh? But she has a very good answer already. Alright, candidate number 11, we're ready to hear your answer to our true question. But then I am here standing in the front of the people and I need to answer this question. <laughs> Alright, that's right. Ready or not, you have no choice but to answer our question number two. What is the essence of being a member of the LGBTQIA plus community? Again, what is the essence of being a member of the LGBTQIA plus community? You know what, ladies and gentlemen, the essence of being a LGBTQ community plus is both essence of men and women. It is not very easy to stand in your front being discriminated and criticized by other people. But then, we are still fighting. We are still fighting to face people for our, to face people, to give smile on your faces. <laughs> and aside from that, we are fighting for our rights. It is not very easy to stand in front of you, to be in, to be part of the LGBTQ community because we are discriminated and criticized. But then the essence of the trans women is to stand with their own, to fight. To, for, to fight for life and facing discrimination and criticize in this society. But then we are still proving that we are existing in this world. We are here. We are standing in front of everyone that we are LGBT, we are existing, we are a person, we are created by God. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Belongs to you. The first spot is for 
a face mask with in Cebu City, non-obligatory. However, Department of Health Officer-in-Chief Maria Rosario on Friday said that she is worried that other local government units would follow the example of Cebu City's non-obligatory face mask rule. Do you think Iligan City is ready to adopt the same rule implemented in Cebu City? Thank you, for, thank you so much for that wonderful question, sir. Well, to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, um, we, need to, we need to follow our simple protocols, which is wearing face masks. It is necessary in our society or in, our, in Iligan City, it is because it is, for, it is for the betterment of our society. It is for the betterment of our community, and that is the only way for us to to that is the only way for us to be able to uh, to achieve the to achieve the the peaceful community in the society and that'd be all thank you thank you so much candidate number one all of our candidates will be receiving questions with the same level of difficulty because of course this is tough Five, so they will be having tough questions. All right, we're ready for you, candidate number nine. Right, candidate number nine, are you ready for your question? All right, candidate number nine is born ready. And she picked question number four. Senator Robin Padilla is seeking the passage of Bill Number 233 or Anti-Discrimination Act, which proposes a fine to a fine up to one million and a jail term of up of up to eight years against a person or organization committing acts of discrimination on the basis of race, ethnicity, religion, or being formerly incarcerated. Do you think this bill is fair and just? as compared to other more detrimental crimes that has lower penalty and lesser years of imprisonment? Again, Senator Robin Padilla is seeking the passage of Bill Number 233 or Anti-Discrimination Act which proposes a fine up to 1 million pesos and a jail term of up to 8 years against a person or organization committing acts of discrimination on the basis of race, ethnicity, religion, or being formerly incarcerated. Do you think this bill is fair and just as compared to other more detrimental crimes that has lesser penalty and lesser years of imprisonment? Thank you. In today's society, in today's society discrimination has, complete, like, has, has created a complete barrier to our equality and acceptance. This only means that the LGBT today are physically visible but we are not yet that politically recognized. And with this, and with this, and with this, we are, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that we, we, we are a pillar of hope. And a, and a power of strength and a champion of hope and a and a purpose of hope. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, candidate number nine. Reminding our audience to please be silent while our candidates are delivering their quest, uh, their answers, because it is not easy to be standing right here answering so, such tough question in front of the crowd all right candidate number eight we're ready for you you can now pick your question you picked question number one Elegan City is a melting bowl of interfaith and intercultural community. But even with the variety of belief systems present in the place, the Tri people of Elegan continue to live harmonious, harmonious life where there is no conflict between varied cultures. What do you think is the key factor for a peaceful Elegan? Again, 
Iligan City is a melting bowl of interfaith and intercultural community. But even with the variety of belief systems present in the place, the Tri people of Iligan continue to live a harmonious life where there is to no conflict between varied cultures. I will start my answer with a statement. Divisiveness, or should I say discrimination, is directly associated with our inability to accept, recognize, and celebrate our cultural differences. And to answer the question, what makes Iligan City sustain the social welfare in the society? It is the Iligan City's mindset. All Iliganon have the power to understand, accept, and recognize each one's unique differences. I studied at Mindanao State University na Awan, and all I can say is that I feel so sad with my Muslim classmates because they are being discriminated in some part of Christian dominated places. And as that someone, as a member of the LGBTQ community who have also experienced discrimination, I felt sympathy to that specific Muslim woman who studies in Mindanao State University na Awan. However, when I joined Miss Iligan City, I see how Muslims, indigenous people, and Christians live peacefully together. And one thing that I realized is that the people, when you talk about to the Christian, Christians are so welcoming with the Muslims, as well as Muslims are so welcoming with the Christians, and including the indigenous peoples in Iligan City. This is something that we should be proud of as Iliganon because we are able to uphold social welfare through understanding and respect to one another regardless of our gender identity, cultural differences, and race. And that is something that we should uplift. If I were to, to be Miss Gay Iligan, I will ensure that this important treasure that we have will continue through educating especially our children to continue this very significant diversity inclusion that we have. Because after all, I do believe that Miss Gay Iligan 2022 is not looking for a model with just a pretty face. Miss Gay Iligan 2022 is looking for a role model that will bring honor to its place and light to its people. And I am that role model. Rocky Salvani Tupac, your Miss Gay Iligan 2022. Maayong gabi. And I'm very much happy that I finally belong to the final cast. Through to the crown, thank you. All right, you're gonna pick your question. You pick question number two. Saint Michael of the Archangel is a patron saint of Iligan, and his feast is celebrated every 29th day of September. Given the fact that festivals such as Diyanti is a religious practice specifically by Christians. Do you think this celebration emphasizes exclusivity among Christians towards the tribes present in Iligan? Again, Saint Michael the Archangel is a patron saint of Iligan and his feast is celebrated every 29th day of September. Given the fact that festivals such as Diandi is a, is a religious practice specifically by Christians, do you think that this celebration emphasizes exclusivity among Christians towards other tribes present in Iligan. Okay, thank you for this wonderful question. Well, after three years of having pandemic, now we are finally back to our normal life. We having our Diyandi Festival, and this is something that we should be proud of. I believe Diyandi Festival is a celebration of everyone diverse culture. We have the Muslim, Christian, and the Lumad. I believe that with all 
those differences that we have, we should always remember that we have one thing in common, that we are all Iliganon. With that, I believe it needs a collaborative effort from individual to the government, from the government to individual. Everything must take actions to achieve a peaceful community. And I believe that your years of existence will just be worthless without anything you can do for humanity. Just as Lindicato does, thank you and good evening. Served. With the goal of some to promote their culture and tradition to the world, do you think this helps in protecting and preserving the said ethnic group when promoting their culture means welcoming people to invade their cultural domains? Again, eth ethnic groups such as Higaunons present in Iligan is a tribe that needs to be preserved. With the goal of some to promote their culture and tradition to the world, do you think this helps in protecting and preserving the said ethnic group when promoting their culture also means welcoming people to invade their cultural domains? Thank you for that wonderful question. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we know that the Yandi Festival is a diversity. Lumad, Christian, and Muslim. This Lumad is not exposed in our city, is not exposed in public. But then for me, they need to be exposed. They need to be known that they are existing in our society. Because diversity is diversity is collaborating the three ethnics, the three the three and you know that that we need to be we need to be united. No, do not laugh at me. You, we need to be united as one. We have three cultures, the Muslim, Christian, and the Lumad. But the Lumads are something that 
they want privacy. They want to be in public. But then we, we need to embrace differences. We need to embrace differences, but then they need to be exposed in public. They need to be exposed in illegal city. They need to be exposed in illegal For them to be known that Iliga, that Higa Unon is still existing in this city. Because diversity is a unity. So ladies and gentlemen, if I were given a chance to put the crown on my head, I will use. No, do not laugh at me because this is very serious. Because Lumat is not a... Quiet! existing in our society the dancers in street dancing they are pretending that they are lumads but how about that the lumads the original lumads expresses their dances their culture in street dancing <laughs> they can show the illegal that they are real existing. They are their privacy. They don't want to be in the city. They don't want to be in the public. So therefore, if I will be crowned again as Miss Gay Illegal 2022, I will use my voice to influence them to be here in Illegal City, showcasing their culture that they are existing in illegal city because the real meaning of the Yandi festival is happiness the real meaning of the Yandi festival is happiness happiness and diversity the Lumad the Christian and the Muslim we are reunited as one as Iliganon living in this city living in this city we are making this city progressive and we need to embrace insensitivity, insensitivity and we need to blur borders thank you